On my next birthday, I become a sexagenarian. That doesn't mean I'm getting kinky, nor epicurean. <laughs> I'll soon be 60 years of age, though I hope you'll say I don't look it. I've got my hiking boots at the ready and ordered my new Fitbit. Some people think of it as being old, not wanting to reach that decade. I always equated it with grey hair and the wearing beige brigade. <laughs> when I'm 60, I won't care what others think. If I take a nap or wear purple or pink, <laughs> I'll get up at 7am to walk to the shops and visit the butcher for me two pork chops. I'm finished with going out late to Boogie Woogie. Instead, I'll have a date with a Robert Redford movie. <laughs> I've long given up wearing rouge and plastering on the lipstick. Now it's sunscreen factor 30 and you lay on like an oil slick. <laughs> I'll put on my PJs at six o'clock and then draw all the curtains and read until 10. If I phone and you don't answer, I'll leave you a voicemail. Now I might ramble a bit and give you lots of detail. <laughs> I don't take selfies or use TikTok or IG, but post on Facebook pictures of my family. <laughs> I like my landline and it's not going away. No spam, no bleeps, no carrying it all day. <laughs> when I'm 60, every day, I'll drink a bathtub of tea and spend all night on the loo having a pee. <laughs> when I'm 60, I won't stress if I haven't hoovered and the house is a mess. <laughs> Reaching 60 used to be considered being either elderly or a sage. But with people living longer, it's fast forwarded to still being middle age. <laughs> It used to be that at this age, a woman could retire. But it's seven years more until I'll be sitting by the fire. <laughs>